Hello and welcome back to another video guys. Now this is a bit different for me as you can tell. Camera's not on the tripod. I'm walking about my room. Why am I doing that? That's because you probably can tell from the title of this video, which I'm not even sure what I'm going to call it yet, but um, I'm doing something a bit different today. Uh, <laughs> for those of you who know, my Blu-ray shelves are full. They've been full for some time now. I've got a lot of Blu-rays in the loft and a lot just out in my hallway, piling up, ready to go in the loft. Um, a lot of these films are films I watched once and didn't particularly care for. That's why whenever I had a new film, I go, okay, that one can go because I weren't a big fan of it. However, um, last week I wanted to watch a movie and it was in my loft. And I had to go up there and sort through loads of stuff. It took me about 15 minutes to find it. And I thought, this is silly. Um, either I need to just sell these because they're building up, which is probably the most sensible thing I could do, or bring them back down here. Well, where can I put them? But then, with all this time off we've had lately because of the coronavirus, um, it all of us I I cleaned out under my bed. Under my bed, as you'll see later on in the video, um, I've got this huge open area, nothing under there at all. It's a big, as you can see. I'm gonna move this for a minute. I've got quite a you know, decent sized bed here and there's a lot of room under it. And I thought, why not take advantage of that? Let's put the Blu-rays under there. I wanted to buy something to put the Blu-rays in. I didn't want to just lob them under there. Not a big fan of these plastic tubs you can buy. So, um, didn't buy them. Um, I'm not a fan of them. I know most people say just put them in some plastic tubs, but they look ugly and they're never level at the bottom. There's always bumps and curves in them and the Blu-rays would have been awkward to put in there but i found this online this is not for blu-rays at all but i found it i bought one for now even though i'm more than likely gonna need to buy another one or two probably to put all the blu-rays in that are in my loft but i've bought one for now just to test it it's taken about a week to come um i know i shouldn't be ordering things at the minute because we're in a pandemic but anyway <laughs> I've been very bored at home, so I thought I need something to do. Organising these old bullet rays is probably a good thing, so I've bought this. Um, it's flat packed at the minute, it's literally just come. Now this is for, I'm guessing if you either run out of space in your cupboard, or if you're going away camping or something, to put your t-shirts, socks, trousers, pants, all that stuff, and you've got little breakers here in the middle which i'm probably going to cut off but as you can see it's just it's got a lid on it and it's it's quite tall it's got little handles on the side it's still flat packed at the minute it's got a little zip that goes around the outside yeah so i thought that maybe once you know this is all built up and stuff you know it will hold a decent amount of blu-rays it's easy to move it's flat I feel like this is kind of perfect for what I want. Also, lengthwise, it looks like it's pretty much the perfect length to almost fit under my bed. I mean, it's definitely going to fit under there. It, it looks pretty perfect to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this one up with some Blu-rays. And also I'm going to try and organise these Blu-rays in the loft. Because I've literally just chucked them up there every time I've taken one out. So I'm going to try and reorganise them, fill this one up. And then I'm probably going to have to order another couple if I'm really happy with it. But at the minute, I think I'm going to be really happy with this. I know it's cheap, but it's kind of perfect for what I want. As I say, I didn't really want the plastic tubs. Not a big fan of plastic tubs. Um, this is kind of perfect for what I'm, I'm thinking of doing. So um, anyway, I'm going to now <laughs> crack on with... Well, I've got to take my sister to work first, take the dog out. And when I get back, I'm going to bring down some Blu-rays. I'm going to start filling this up. And yeah, we'll see how it looks once I've got it filled up. I'll show you guys under my bed as well so you can see the space that I've got to work with. And I'll also show you the big stack of Blu-rays I've got up in the loft when I go up there um, in a minute. Um, so you guys can get a bit of a bearing of what, I've, what I have to work with here. But basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to fill a couple of these up before I bring you guys on the little journey. Um, it's, you know, it's going to take me a couple of weeks to make this video because I've got to order more. But at the minute, I'm pretty excited. This is cool. Bearing in mind, a lot of the films you're going to see in this video are not great movies. They've gone up in the loft because I bought them, watched them once, went, ah, that was bad. <laughs> and as I've added a film that I like to my collection, which all of these are staying out at the minute, um, as I add a film that I like, I pull out one I don't like, basically. So a lot of the films that are going in here, I'm not a big fan of. But it's part of the collecting. And I know some people say, oh, stop holding, you should get rid of it. This is what we collectors do. We keep it. Um, even though I would probably still have them out on display, even though they're not great movies. 
but obviously space is an issue so this is the next best thing and i'm pretty excited so anyway we'll move on to the next part of the video now so i've actually just done a little test run here as well before i start putting blu-rays and stuff out um this thing is cheap as i said one of the one of the zips has actually already broken i don't know if you can tell this one um hang on let me get the camera lined up there we are this one here has already slid out um so yeah they're cheap they're not they're not the best quality so be careful if you are going to buy any of these um so but this one here is fine just gonna make sure i don't go to the end there on this side the zip actually is patched in so it shouldn't happen on this side so i'm just gonna make sure once this is filled up the zip is always on this end uh but for now what i've done is i pulled just some of my blu-rays out from over there i've just whacked them in here obviously these ones are going to go back on the shelf because these are films i don't want to get rid of but these defenders are actually pretty perfect as you can see here i've zipped it up look at this look they actually stay in there all nice because i've you, you've got the guards that go in between that i said i might cut off but i'm not going to do that now because it's they're actually perfect sizes look at this look at this and you've also got these little plastic bits here, so you can just see in there, um, which is kind of cool. But look, let me let me open this all the way. You can see here, this is actually keeping the Blu-rays all together. And it is perfectly sized for them in terms of storage. Um, as I say, I know these things are not built for Blu-rays, but it almost feels like they were. <laughs> so this is great. So anyway, I'm going to put these ones back out on the shelf now. Take my sister to work, all that jazz. I'm going to come back and I'm going to fill this one up with some old blu-rays so i have um just found another thing that i haven't taken into account which is no problem at all really but a lot of the blu-rays that i had when i first started getting rid of them if i show you here i move my chair out of the way you'll be able to see um this shelving unit here basically goes all the way back there goes past this and pretty much touches the wall so if i just take out these blu-rays here that i want to keep on show there's basically a load of blu-rays just stacked up back here that um <laughs> i've used just to keep these ones button up if you know what i mean so um let me just put these ones back so basically there's a load of blu-rays back there that i'm gonna want to pull out and put underneath but it's no problem at all because luckily um we've got a load of spare wood downstairs in my um garage in my dad's little uh, wood shop area. So I brought my tape measure up here. I'm just gonna measure from, just from about here to the end against the wall. And I'm just gonna go chop down some bits of wood. Um, they're only thin, probably about two by four bits of wood. Um, they're quite old, but it don't matter because they're not gonna be on show. And I'm just gonna butt them up against that and the Blu-ray should very nicely just butt up against them. So it should all be fine. So. That's the next job before I start filling this thing up, really. <laughs> so I managed to cut out some little wooden blocks now. So I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Just going to simply slide the block in. One's pretty level. Now the Blu-rays could top up from that way, which is a concern which I'm having, which is completely fine. Because I'll just have to go cut some more up and just stack them. I can simply put a long screw through all of them to hold them together or right now but um hey for now this is just temporary because really i want to just start getting all the blu-rays out this will be completely fine as a temporary thing it should stop them from falling not very well but <laughs> it does the job i'll just have to build some more up but for now that works far good enough so <laughs> what i've done is is i've packed this thing full of all the blu-rays that were behind those ones some blu-rays that i had in the hall and i just pulled a few out of the loft i've just put them in in any order and it worked perfectly and then i had an accident let me show you what happened so i've packed this whole thing up to the top um it zipped up perfectly and as you can see, you can just move it about like a big box if you feel it completely packed, which it is. Now, if I unzip it, you'll be able to see what I've done here. They're in no order at the minute, and I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, let me get this. As you can see, 
it's just packed. Um, I've just literally just loaded this thing up with all the Blu-rays um, that, that, that would fit in it as possible. I've got a couple going inside with here. As I say, they're in no order at the minute. Uh, but yeah, so they're all in there. It's pretty damn perfect, really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count up how many this holds. I'm going to count up how many I've got in here. And then I'm going to count up how many Blu-rays I still have in my loft, which I'll show you guys in a minute. So I know how many more of these packs to order. Okay, and then I'm going to organise these Blu-rays when the other pack comes. So I'll just get all the Blu-rays out, put them in an order on the floor, and then put them in this pack, and then hopefully the next pack. And then if I do need to order a third pack, I'll put them in the third pack as well. The problem I had, because it was looking so perfect. Let me zip this back up to show you guys. Um, <laughs> and it's, it's a real shame, and it kind of shows how cheap these things are. Uh, let me quickly zip this back up. Okay, so now I zipped it back up. This is the problem I have. Um, that I got handles on the side of this. And stupidly, because this is designed for clothes, not Blu-rays, because Blu-rays are heavy in clothes, I picked each handle up on each side to pick it up. And this one completely tore off. Um, it's not a problem. It doesn't matter. This hole isn't big enough where things are going to fall out. Um, here's the handle. <laughs> I just picked it up and it comes straight off. Uh, it's kind of funny, really. Anyway... Um, it doesn't affect it, really, you know, these Blu-rays at the end aren't going to slide out. It does look a bit ugly, unfortunately, so maybe I can tuck this Blu-ray up against the side of my bed. Um, but I'm not going to put this under my bed until the other case comes, because I'm only going to have to pull it out again to reorganise all the bits in it. Um, so, yeah, that's basically today's work done. What I am going to do, though, because it's going to probably take another week for another one or two of these to come, is over the next week, because, as you saw when I put these in, even though these bits of wood are stopping Blu-rays from going down there, um, a simple push will knock them back like that. Um, so I'm going to make up some little frames. Instead of just cutting loads of little bits of wood, I'm going to make some little frames to put in there to stop Blu-rays from falling over. So I'm going to fix that problem over the next over next week while I'm waiting for... Um, see, that, that that's going to be a pain to fix now. Um, <laughs> so I'm, over the next week while I'm waiting for some more of these to come, I'm um, going to make up a couple of those frames. But for now, I'm going to count these, and then I'll take you guys up and loft, show you the rest of the Blu-rays, and we're going to count them all up. What I have to work with up here is a bit messy, as most lofts, attics are for most people. You know, this is the stuff that people don't really use much. They just chuck it up in their lofts. <laughs> and these Blu-rays were all in nice stacks. But unfortunately, with me and my dad always coming up here, and my sister coming up here as well, things kind of get chucked about. So a few of the stacks have been knocked over and they don't look very messy but um that is about to change but anyway so these are all the blu-rays i've 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 got to sort out <laughs> so there's a few stacks here there's dvds there's games mixed in um there's just just, just loads there's another two big stacks here some on the floor down there so yeah i've got to i've got to count all these up somehow sort out you know what comes down and what don't because not all these games need to come down also if I just get up, I do want to take some games down because um, I do still keep downstairs in my room my Xbox and PlayStation. Um, so there's more Blu-rays here, as you can see. And then there's a load of games that I want to take down as well. So I've got to sort through all these as well. Um, it's quite a nice little stand, really. Just got nowhere to put it. But <laughs> So yeah, got to sort through all them as well. So, going by my calculations, I'm going to need another two packs or another two of these cases, which is completely fine. I'm going to order them right now, and um, over the next week, I'm going to make some of those um, little supporters up, which I'll show you guys. I'm not going to do it today, because there's no rush. It's going to take a week for these to come, so I've done this work for today. It will keep me busy a little bit for a half a day, I guess, making them up. So I'll probably do them tomorrow or something, and then we'll wait for these to come in. So, it is the following morning, um, <laughs> excuse me if my room's are not as tidy as it was yesterday, um, I haven't had a t chance to clear it up yet, so I wanted to get on to making these, and here they are, looking very fancy, nothing special at all, literally they are just supposed to just sit there, they're behind the shelves, so you're not going to see them, so it doesn't matter how ugly they look, yeah, so that's the base, so it's going to sit like that, so I've pulled out all the Blu-rays, you switch hands here, so let's just see how this is going to go. This is, um, I've marked it up. 
that I can't find my mark. Where's my mark? Pretty sure that's the base. So, this just goes in there like that. And then hopefully my measurements are correct. Um, I'm actually going to put this one in first. I think it might actually be a bit too small, if anything. Unless I've put it in the wrong way around. But the point is, I mean, that's actually catching that. But they're not. It's not good. They're not going to fall over now. So that's the important bit. So I'm going to just put all of these in now. So they're all installed now and um, I've got these shelves looking back to the way they were. You can just see the bits of wood here, just like that. It really doesn't bother me because you're not going to see them unless you're looking for them. So the Blu-rays now, they're, they're not going to fall over. They tilt like that and that's all they can do. So it's pretty simple. It's, you know, it looks fantastic again, I think. Um, the in-betweeners box is meant to be pushed back a little bit that way. It's the only way I could fit all these boxes in here. So I did have to make the one on the end there smaller. But that's fine. I don't mind. I just have to pull my Only Fools box out to get the in-betweeners one out. Which is fine. That's the only way I could get all those boxes in there fitting. Um, so yeah, that's all sorted now. So now once again, we're back to just waiting for another one of these to come. And then when another one of them comes, we can continue. Right, so the next ones have just come. It's actually quite early in the morning here. Uh, well, not too early. It's 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 just gone nine, and um, you know, with all this time off we've been having, I must admit, I've been staying up till about twelve at night, and I've been waking up at like about nine. So this is literally as I've woken up. Um, now I've I've still got this one on my floor. I've just left it there. It's been sitting there for a few days now, and it literally has only taken a few days for these to come. The postman's just dropped them off. I don't really like ordering things at the minute, so I feel a little bit guilty, but. Anyway, they come. The seller that I ordered that one from didn't have any more available. So I'm guessing a lot of people are buying stuff like that because they're bored at the minute. So the seller that I ordered the new ones off, which apparently are exactly the same. They've got the same dimensions. They've come like this. Just airtight. They're literally... I've got two of them. Look at them. These are going to turn into a big box like that. So let me put the camera down. Let's open these quickly. Let's have a look. I love opening up airtight stuff. Just all of a sudden it just goes poof. Look at this. I'll do it this way so you guys can see it. You can just hear it. All the air coming out. <laughs> right. Should be the exact same size. The dimensions online looks exactly the same. Um, let's have a look. It looks pretty much identical. Yes, this is this is exactly the same. This is perfect. So I've got two more of these, which is nice. I won't open this one yet because I wasn't one hundred percent sure whether I need the the third one or not. Um, so just in case I don't, I'm gonna leave it sealed for a minute, and I'll just open it for whenever the time comes, which you know, in a few months or a year down the line, when I've 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 gone over in that one, I can open this one up. So I'm gonna leave this sealed for a minute, um, and we'll start filling this one up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring all the Blu-rays down. I'm going to take all of them out of this one. Just basically going to have a load of Blu-rays on the floor. And I'm going to try and organise them as I put them in this time. So it's not just complete chaos in there. So this is what my room is like now. I'm out of breath because I've literally just pulled them all out of the loft. But i got all these sort through. Now I've got five stacks of Blu-rays. Games and DVDs. And I've got to organise everything that's in there. So wish me luck. What I've done now is is I've split these up into genres. So I've got action, I've got sci-fi right here, I've got my uh, more serious films, my comedies, my animated over the back. Um, so now I'm just going to put them in in sort of an order. And I've got TV shows over here. And then I just haven't sorted out the DVD or games because I'll do them last. So yeah, that's the next task. So then I've filled pack number one up with TV shows, superhero, sci-fi kind of like your world war action and um world war ii type stuff in there um so now it's just all this lot to go so i've filled up the second one now and i'm pretty pleased i bought a third one because i still have a couple blu-rays to go in but then i have all these games so definitely gonna need that third one 
And there you have the last one filled up. Now, I had to, I made a bit of a mistake with this one because the DVDs are thicker and longer. The binders um, weren't working. So, I cut the bottom two off. However, it's not pulling this to that side now. So, the DVDs do flop over a lot more easy. But once they're under my bed, they should hopefully be okay. So, I'm going to pack this one up now. I'm going to put them all under there and I'm going to show you how they look. And we'll be done then. We'll actually be done. So, <laughs> I'm absolutely knackered. Um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> I've just done my uh, morning workout as well. So, I'm now absolutely sweating buckets. I thought I'd do that before I do this. Um, but anyway, now what I've done is, is lifted my mattress <laughs> off my bed. And I thought I'd show you here just so you guys can get an idea of, you know, where these um, big sets are going. This is my bed. So, these bits here. Pull up, as you can see. Wow, there's dust under there already. I literally only dusted these the other week, so I'm gonna give, <laughs> gonna give it another dusting, um, and they're gonna go under here. So, yeah, all right, so we're done. I'll show you guys. Here it is. So, under my bed, there they are, all neat, easy to access. So, I will come down here every now and then and pull a Blu ray out. I know a lot of you are probably sitting there going. I can't believe you're just going to let them sit under there. Well, I'm not, because I still do want to watch them every now and then. So, I'll just push these out a bit so I can get the zip undone. See there? Pull it up, and look at that. All neat. I know what order they're in, roughly. Perfect. And then i got two more cases full. <laughs> But that is it for this video, guys. Finally, I'm going to pack all this up now. I'm not going to do that on camera. There's no point. You, you guys are not interested in that. Um, <laughs> I don't know how this video is going to turn out. Because obviously, I've been recording it over the course of a week. Um, I hope it's turned out good enough um, for me upload, to upload to YouTube. And I hope it's entertaining enough. Whew. Well, I'm absolutely knackered. That was a lot of work this morning. So now I'm going to go down stairs, have a nice cold beer, and watch some TV. Um, but thank you so much for watching as always guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button like the video leave a message and i'll see you guys next time for another video bye bye